Sadhguru, scriptures tell us that everything happening in this world, including what happens in our life, is preordained. Which and scripture said that? At least that's what I thought, that we are destined to do something <laughs> irrespective of what happens. If that is the case, we are destined to die someday, then what's the role of people like us in this world? Oh. Oh, uh, we are definitely destined to die. <laughs> people, come, <laughs> people come and tell me, Sadhguru, this man, my enemy, I can't bear him, I want to do something. I said, just wait, he will die <laughs> You don't have to do anything, just wait <laughs> Just be patient, that's all <laughs> So destined to die, yes. But uh, I don't think ever, any scripture has mentioned that your life is predetermined, predetermined or preordained. This is an import from outside. You must understand the fundamental nature of what this culture is, is it's rooted in this. This is a godless culture, you must understand this. There has never been an idea of God in this country. It's an imported value, let me put this into perspective because it upsets lots of people <laughs> We have many divine entities, many. We count some thirty-three million, something like that. How did all these gods come up? So, the idea, the monotheistic idea is there's a god sitting out there and doing things to you, so they believe in dictatorship, that there is somebody who determines everything. Not so in this culture. Here, there is no idea of God, but there are many divine entities. What are these entities? Generally, if you look back, the language that was used for all the deities that you have is, you're a Devi, is a yantra, always a yantra. The word yantra literally means a machine or a device or a tool. When I refer to our own yogic temples as tools, people get offended. Sadhguru, don't say that, it means more than our life. I said, if you are offended by this, you come to the ashram. I am giving… going to give you a plumbing job to do in the ashram without tools. You must use your nails and your teeth and do plumbing in the ashram for three days. After three days, I'll give you a chain winch or a spanner. Will you worship or no? <laughs> Will you worship the tool or no after having lost all your teeth? So the power of the tool, the power of the tool is something that we always understood. We are… Uh, we as human beings, we are who we are in the… on this planet only because of the tools that we have created. If we did not have any tools, a dog would dominate us, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. It's only because of the tools human beings have become who they are. So there are… a screwdriver is a tool too, but… There are subtler tools, energy tools, subjective tools, which can open up different dimensions of life. So for this, for every dimension we create a different tool, a different possibility, because we clearly know without this tool we would never access this possibility, we bow down to it and we worship it, because without being worshipful it will not yield to you. This is… we clearly know, gods are our making. It is just that others have forgotten. So here we told you, your life is your karma. This means your life is your making. Where is the question of preordained? Such a thing never arises in this culture. Thank you, Sadhguru. But it's dangerous for a doc doctor to think it's preordained <laughs> <laughs>